Hello people, Les again. I am doing the dice test to see if they really are, if they do roll random. For this I'm using my Stug 3D restoration mug. I've already got a load of salt in this, warm water, to reduce, or rather increase. I suppose you're increasing the density of the water to make the plastic dice float. And it's it's nearly on the point of floating and I'm actually running out of salt now whether it's because the water is warm and the water isn't as dense as it could be ah, there we go oh so close it's got to be enough now oh there we go there we go so now you can give it a poke and see if let's make it a bit more floaty so you get a bit more of a response time <clears throat> and that is all the salt I've got <laughs> which is just enough for this particular dice anyway so now you can see whether it comes up the same number every time I think it's just doing that because it's rubbing on the side. Hmm. Nine. You could just like roll it hundreds of times. Obviously, do a statistical analysis, roll it hundreds of times and see what happens. But this is, I don't know, this is supposed to be the definitive way. Number nine. It's worrying. It's trying to get onto that nine, isn't it? That's definitely going to go to nine. <laughs> it looks like this dice likes nines. Two. Where's that in relation to the nine? That's close to the nine, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's all right. That's definitely going to end up as a nine. I think it likes nines a little bit this one. Although, you know, I do use it yeah, nine again. I do use the same dice for both sides anyway. It's not as if I've got a set for one side and a set set for France and a set for Germany. Eight. I don't think this is all that bent. <laughs> I've seen dice tests where it comes up with like a particular number every single time. But that's one, nine, where's the eight? Well, the eight's on the other side. Maybe there's a little bit of a bias towards nine. Oh, that was, well, maybe. I think this dice is probably still usable. It's not coming up the same number every time, which I have seen in certain tests. Let's try the green one. Let's see what this one does. <laughs> two threes there on the trot. Another three. This doesn't look good. Zero, which is next to the three. 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 Six. Okay, that's close to the three. Isn't it? I think this one's a bit three biased, and the white one's a bit nine biased. Myself, this one's very biased towards the three. Three and the eight's on that side of the dice, isn't it? Maybe there's no such thing as the perfect dice. The white one seems reasonably random if a little bias towards the nine okay I've got a 12 sided one there Let's see what this one does 
like six. It could be a fallacy, you know, this dice test business. It could be a fallacy because what with the random, the random knocks you get as it rolls along the table or whatever you're rolling it on, it could be that's going to send it off on different random numbers. Although to be fair, this one's just rolling six, isn't it? Every single time. <laughs> That's a classic wonky dice. That's that is what you don't want. At least my percentage dice that I use all the time are okay. Cup of water, preferably warm to get the salt dissolving. Loads of salt because I used everything that was in there. And uh, if you're that worried about your randomness, it's a good test. Although you know, as long as you use the same dice for both sides, it don't really matter, I suppose. But interesting all the same.